Hi everyone, how are you? Here we go, it is Happy Wednesday, and that means it's Jewelry Party Wednesday, and after a bit of a hiatus, I am back with all kinds of gorgeous vintage jewelry treasures and finds for you, and I'm very excited to show you what's new. So thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let me know where you're from, how you're doing. It was a very lovely, beautiful day here. It was uh, in the 60s and sunny. It was just a nice spring day and we got a lot done here in Chicago and I'm very excited to see all of you. Hi, Megan, how are you? Hi, Elaine, I'm very excited to see everybody and let's talk about some of our vintage jewelry treasures that we just added over at Vintage Meet Modern. So these are the beginning of our May treasures. I feel that May is a really fun time to be able to talk about vintage jewelry because I always think of May related to moments and memories. And if you know me or you follow along, if you're in our private Facebook group, if you uh, kind of follow along a little bit of my story, May has definitely already been full of some major moments. Uh, you know, and it's so funny because I talk a lot about my family and jewelry and helping my parents and those types of things, but I did not realize how emotional I would be related to having my daughter signed to go to college. So, and it wasn't the she's leaving to go to college part, it's boy, choosing a college during the time of COVID was very stressful. So for anybody who's going through that, I completely, understand what you are going through. Uh, my daughter is a 4.7 GPA and she still did not get into a lot of her top choices and she's still waitlisted at Northwestern. So if anybody knows anybody in Northwestern, let me know. Uh, but we did sign with Loyola University of Chicago and we're very excited and I am just excited to be able to now focus on talking to you about jewelry and helping you look and feel your best. But that is really what it reminds me about is this, you know, jewelry is so often part of our memories and what we wear and it makes us think of people like our moms from Mother's Day or our grandmothers or special aunts. Um, then we'll have Memorial Day. And then of course, this is also usually a time where we begin to wear different things. We start getting excited for summer. So there's lots of awesome reasons to be able to dress up and look and feel your best. And here are some pieces that can definitely help you do that. And I'm so glad so many of you are joining me tonight. So, uh, I am going to start off right away by showing you one of my favorite pieces, which is this vintage Phyllis piece that we have. Uh, this one is vintage Phyllis. Uh, if you click the link above with the website, you can go ahead and you can visit this one. It's under new arrivals. I really like this one because it is a brooch, but one of my favorite parts about this one is that it can also be worn as a pendant. And so today I have on a little top that's, it's like a pink and a mandarin orange sort of color. It's from anthropology. And I really liked this particular top because I do see that the colors in terms of orange and that corally orange color and red and pink are really trending a lot. And there's a couple of different things that I really love about this one. The first of which is, is that yes, this has got a V neckline to it, but it is a great piece to be able to wear with a brooch. But also what I do love about this piece is, besides the fact that it's gold filled, is that it does have a hook, as you can see right on the back of it. And this is a great piece to wear as a pendant. I'm always talking about how to wear brooches as pendants. Uh, and we do sell brooch converters that you can turn it into a pendant. But uh, one of the best parts about this one is this one already has the loop that has been built into the back of it. And now, of course, we're going to have that moment where I begin to get worried that I'm not going to be able to show you that I could get it on and get it off. Um, the open petals are cool for showing you off your shirt. Yes, that's another thing that's really nice about this particular piece is, is that if you like wearing this also against a color, so for example, and I know, Megan, you always look so lovely in a lot of different colors, especially green when I see you wear it, but that's another great part about this particular piece is that it does have the open petals so that if you wear it against a solid color or if you wear it against... Um, a solid color or even a pattern or whatever, it's gonna go against it nicely and it fits so well. So this is a really beautiful piece. I do love that it's just so easy to be able to put this on as a pendant. You don't need a brooch converter to do it. And then of course it is gold filled. And you know, we have been talking a lot about uh, the prices of gold going back up. And that's another thing that I always like to remind people with the gold filled pieces, they hold their value the exact same way that gold jewelry does. So this is a nice one. It's a great size. 
size, great shape too. As you can see, it fills uh, a really beautiful uh, lapel right here. Nice size, nice shape. Uh, and it's definitely one that's up for your consideration. Someone will really enjoy adding this one. As you can see, it has lots of pretty sparkle too. So it has those baguette and it also has those really pretty brilliant cut rhinestones too. So that is another fun, awesome piece that we have. Uh, as long as I'm talking about reds, another piece that would make a great pendant because it is a round style is this one, which look how beautiful that bright, vibrant red color is. If I put that again, against where you can see the reds, it is a really beautiful bright red color. So this one, let me see if I can turn the light up just a little bit. There we go. It's that weird time of day where it's still light outside as you can see in the background, but it's not quite as bright inside too. And I'm always trying to use as much natural light as I possibly can. So this is the open back crystal red brooch. This one could be Juliana or Deliza and Elster. It does have on the back of it, if we look right here, it has a little bit of puddling that's on it, uh, which is of course indicative of that Juliana or D and E style. Uh, so it could fall into it. It doesn't have a ton of puddling. And I also, when I was looking around on the Juliana identification website, this one didn't jump out, but that website also has hundreds if not thousands of pages on it. But this one does feature dog tooth prong set uh, open back Nevat styles uh, as well as it has some closed backs. Another cool feature of this piece is that it's in like a dark oxidized silver tone which is kind of cool if you're more of a person that either likes the antique silver tone or just likes to veer away from the gold. This one's a nice size and shape also. Uh, another great piece though because of the way that it's coloring and the styling of it is that it'd be another really nice piece to still wear with your lighter fabrics in the spring and the summer season. But just like that one that I just showed you, this one would also be very easily to be able to take one of the brooch converters and to turn it into a medallion statement style pendant. But it does have just absolutely gorgeous, really, really beautiful, bright red, vibrant colors. So this one's a great find. It's a really one of my favorites. Um, I like that one with the open back stones. It's super cool. And then we'll talk about this one at the same time too. So you all know how much I love the cha-cha jewelry. Maybe it's just because I have kids and I like things that move and I'm used to moving all the time, but this one is Juliana. This one does have the figure eight puddling on the background and this one features these really awesome uh, crackled styled dark Aurora Borealis textured beads that are cha-cha style they move. It also has some jet crystal beads that have been mixed in and then it has these deep ruby red and aurora borealis prong set rhinestones throughout. Uh, this one's another neat piece um, just because it definitely has that three-dimensional but for those of you who sort of like those dragon's breath style pieces, the iridescence that flashes more of the green and purples versus the ones that have more of the lighter iridescence, um, this one is really cool because those textured beads as you you can see have this one yes a beautiful brooch for the patriotic holidays so I've been kind of planning ahead already as you know I like to do that hashtag that how outfit repeater so I have been thinking ahead and that's exactly what it is a lot of these jewelry so my personal behind the scenes so in my kitchen Every month I have a different theme and so my month my theme this month is cherries and I do that with the red, white, and blue. So yes, I'm already thinking of Memorial Day related to my cherries tablescape and how I'm gonna get closer to that. I'll start mixing in my American flags and things and that's exactly it. But do you see how bright the red is that in the red in between the cha-cha pieces? So this is another really nice piece. It's a super fun one. It's very easy to be able to wear this against both dark and light colors and it is super fun the way that you can see the little textured iridescent beads. It's another one that's a nice size to fit the shoulder and this one also you could pop a brooch converter on this one and wear this right in the center or as you see me many times I wear the cardigans across it. Um, you know even with something like this you could actually create like a keyhole blouse out of this style. I didn't even think about that. Uh, and you could pin the brooch right across and it'd be really a lovely piece to be able to add to your collection. In fact, let me show you that. That's what I always like to be able to show people. You know, the whole premise behind Vintage Meat Modern is showing how real women can wear vintage jewelry with what they have hanging in their closet. So I would never want you to feel like you have to go out and buy a whole bunch of, of course, 
I think it's great that if you're inspired to wear different colors or if you are looking for different fabrics, of course, those are the types of things that you want to invest in to put in your closet. But I always want to show people how easy it is to be able to add something like this to their look. So this is a perfect example. That was an open V-neck and if you open it and you put it across with a brooch like this, you can see how easy it is to turn a little t-shirt like this going across into more of a keyhole style. So this is a great piece. This is a super fun one. Definitely one of my favorites this week that we have. So we've got that piece. I'm kind of rolling through with the brooches. Uh, scarabs are always very popular and we have a beautiful scarab piece here. So this is a semi-precious gemstone scarab featuring a rose quartz, a carnelian, a jade, a tiger's eye, an onyx, and a chrysoprase. Uh, and this one is set in a round medallion style. Uh, this one is another beautiful one in terms of that the stones are all very clear with the semi-precious stones. It's a nice size and a nice scale, so you can definitely be able to put this one on like little twin set sweaters. This would be really super cute on a jean jacket. Lots of different ways to be able to wear this. And of course, the scarab always, the scarab jewelry is always very collectible. It's a symbol of a rebirth. Uh, many people think it's a protector. There's like at least four different properties and inspirational reasons for why people wear scarab jewelry. Of course, it goes all the way back to Egyptian revival times when mummies were buried with scarabs, but and also used, of course, in all kinds of Egyptian hieroglyphics and architecture and furniture styles and clothing styles. Uh, so the long history of scarab jewelry and the Egyptian revival jewelry is one that is still very strong. Hi, how are you, Michelle? She says she's here on the treadmill. Okay, we all wanna know how many steps you're at by the end of the day. I had a hard time getting my 10,000 steps in today. I'm trying. Uh, so we have a beautiful scarab here. I do like this one because it is with nice semi-precious gemstones and also it is with the closed back, kind of the wreath style. You can see it as a double ring and the back with the brooch. So this one's another really pretty one that we have. All right, moving right along. Let's see another fun piece that we have. Um, okay. We've got another nice, and let's see, I may have to actually turn the light down on this one because it seems like we're getting a lot of the, this is the enameled guilloche pendant. So remember the enameling guilloche is the technique that's done on the etching machine. Uh, it's like a little kind of, I don't know, the way that I could describe it is if you've ever watched the way that the guilloche etching is, is it's sort of like an etch-a-sketch. <laughs> um, it goes around in a circular movement to do the pattern. And this one features a light lavender and a pink rose with of course the little green accents and then it is set on a white background. This one has a mid-century modern feel to it because the setting is a frame, but the frame has just a tiny little bit of linear etching on the sides of it. Now, there's a couple different reasons why I like this particular one. The first of which is, is it does, it looks like it's in a frame, which in itself has this very beautiful presentation instead of having it be just in a little tiny section, or sometimes we frequently see them in a round. Uh, I know Megan on here who was joining us, she has a very nice collection of guilloche jewelry. And so people love guilloche for all kinds of different reasons. They like the smaller ones because they're more scatter pin style. They like the lockets, there are sweater guards. It's a particular technique that people love to collect much the same way that they collect rhinestones and or maybe love connecting enamel flowers. So this piece is a nice one because this one also has a long chain, which is something that I also like to point out because as the weather does change and we do tend to either wear lighter or layer up with other pieces. And that is this piece. And I recently just got my nails done and I am really struggling. <laughs> I'm really struggling to get anything on on my own. But in any case, this one is nice because this one is a longer one. So if you have a higher neck, and you wear things with a longer length, this one will hit you at a longer style. And of course, this one is such a pretty one to be able to wear against the colors that it has in the enameling. So think wearing it with lavender, think wearing it with different shades of purple, think wearing it with different shades of green. It really pops beautifully against the little colors that you see that are inside the frame. And the fact that it is set in a frame has it, it very much has a little romantic feel to it, much the way that we feel like when we get lost in a book. So I love this one. 
I like that also it does have the white and it has kind of the creamy finish. Um, yes, Megan says I'm still here and I love my guilloche pieces. Like I said, a lot of people like to collect it. This would be a very pretty style to add to someone's collection or to give as a gift. Okay, this one is by far one of my favorites. I had this one on earlier today. Uh, I had to go and visit my accountant, had to take care of everything for 2020. See you later, 2020. I know so many of us are happy uh, to be here in 2021, but this is the Sarah Coventry bracelet that I had on earlier today. And I really do need to improve my mirror selfie technique or improve getting to have my pictures taken when I take them with my own phone because as you can see the colors are much vi much brighter uh, than when I had them on earlier and this one is a nice one because it features the flexible mesh which is what I love it's a piece that definitely moves you which means it makes it really easy to be able to wear and then it has so many different beautiful colors in it, it has the turquoise uh, it has a color that reminds us of a red agate a tiger's eye kind of in a caramely tone a green the speckled amethyst color and then the coral and it's one that again, like you can really enjoy it from all different angles because the beads go all the way around. And it's just one of those pieces that if you even wear just one solid color, this will always be the piece that will kind of bring your look together uh, and it'll always be able to complement whatever color you have on. For me today, the pinks and the oranges really only pick up on one of the colors that are in the bracelet, that kind of pinky. But as you can see, it still looks really pretty with the greens and the browns and the purples and just whatever you put against it. So this one's definitely a great one. It's a nice size too. It's lightweight and the mesh is always collectible. It always looks nice. Uh, and for those of you who prefer a bracelet that moves with you versus one that's more like a cuff, um, or a harder bangers, bangle style, this is a great one to have up for your consideration. All right, moving right along. Uh, another great piece, and I recently picked up this one too. I'm kind of surprised we still have this one. This is also, so this is one of our earlier pieces. This one's in 1920s, 1930s, and that was confirmed actually by my jeweler. This one features a genuine seed pearl cool thing about the seed pearls on here is these are not set. These are actually drilled and then wired uh, and attached to their setting. So nothing's going to fall out. They are actually drilled with a little wire that goes through them and then they are actually strung to, um, they're actually strung to the setting of this oval little frame. And then this is genuine nephrite jade that is in the center. And then this is set in a 120 12 karat gold filled setting. Uh, and then also this one has this sweet little kind of top where the it dangles from kind of where you see that the, the pendant is and the fact that it has the oval pendant the way that it is has it lay so nicely against the neck. And so again, this one is another one. This one is a very teeny tiny little clasp in the back of it. Uh, and it's another one that's a great one and you can see the way that it has this sort of stabilizer across the pendant and that's what holds it um, to stay in place so that it hangs in a center style. It's a really, really lovely piece. And for those of you who love those Art Deco and antique styles, this one is one of those pieces that fits and checks all of those boxes in addition to being uh, with all the genuine materials, the real cultured pearls, the real jade, and then of course the real 120 12 karat gold filled. It's a very lovely piece. Uh, it has just very nice detailing work to it and it's a very high quality piece. So for those of you who are looking for something that is still a little bit larger than just your typical really teeny tiny dainty necklace, um, but you have an appreciation for the things that are more in the antique and art deco styling, you'll definitely have an appreciation for this one. And as you can see, the color is lovely. Now a couple different people asked me about the green and that's what I wanna let you know is that the green has a lot of different variations in it. So if you like something that falls towards more of the natural earthy mossy tones uh, it's definitely can lend itself to that color but if you like a green that also is more in the cool tones it has more of a hint of a blue green to it uh, you know it is a true nephrite jade and whatever kinds of shades you'll put with it that will be whatever kind of way that that green kind of lends towards but it's a really really beautiful piece it does have a very nice delicate chain uh, and it has been just made of the finest materials it would be really lovely in anyone's collection 
And we'll contrast that and we'll go ahead and as long as we're talking about it, we'll talk about uh, the little carved mother of pearl shell earrings that we have. So these are abalone. Uh, I believe it was Anne who mentioned that she really liked these, that she kept coming to take a second look at them. And that's exactly what these are. So these are a sweet little pair of carved mother of pearl. Uh, they're from that little abalone shell and they feature a beautiful little raised cameo and it's going around in a little gold frame with the silver accents. It's a 750 silver, so it's not a pure sterling, but it is still a silver. And for those of you who like something that has both the silver and the gold tone to it, that is exactly what it has. And as you can see, they're not too big and they're not too small. So they're a great pair to be able to add to your collection. And for, okay, I'm back. I said I had a poor wireless connection, but we're back. I'm gonna take a sip of my ginger ale. I keep seeing that they have all of these seltzers with ginger and lemon in them, and I happen to really like ginger and lemon. So I've been really enjoying them. I found one from over at Trader Joe's, uh, and I feel like it's one of the best, oh, this one also, this one does not have a spring ring on it. It has a really old 1940s clasp on it. This is the carved shell cameo that we have in the one 2012 karat gold filled. So this is a genuine carved shell cameo. It is a creamy color, and this one is set against a heart. Uh, and as you can see, she is on a, a kind of like an angel skin. It's a lighter coral colored shell. Uh, and then she has the creamy white background. Uh, I always say, is she a pretty cameo? Is she an ugly cameo? She's a pretty cameo. Uh, so if you go and you take a closer look at her on, uh, the website, she has very beautiful detailing uh, in terms of how her hair is done. She has beautiful hair. You can see the fine shell, the way that it's carved. It almost looks like she has little curls to it. Uh, she has it up in the background uh, and she has beautiful little bit of shoulder work with some detailing on it too. Uh oh, she's not on the website yet. Well, we can fix that. <laughs> if she's not on the website yet, don't worry, we'll, we'll find her. Um, if anybody's interested in her, she is $96 uh, and she is one twenty twelve karat gold filled and I believe she is on a 22 inch chain. I would have to measure her. I can. I'm happy to. I am really, this one has one of those really tiny antique chains. It doesn't even have a spring ring on it. Um, but as you can see, this one hits a little lower um, and it does. So if anyone has any questions about this one, just say I'm interested in that piece, uh, the cameo with the heart and the lady and Leanne and I will flag you down and we will get you the details. Um, and so make sure that you can add it to your collection. And it really is. Yes, Anne said it's a 22 inch. And you know what I do? I have, uh, and I'm so happy to see you here. I'm so happy to see you here. Let's see how long this one is. I am correct. It is a 22 inch long chain. So for those of you, Deborah says she's interested in the cameo. I will give you the details and I do believe we have extra pictures of her too because she does have a beautiful face. So I have the lovely cameo and we're gonna get those details over to Deborah, I promise. And now we're gonna talk about another cameo. We're gonna talk about a larger one. Uh, this one I had on the other day and I wore it with a gray t-shirt. This is the Waiting in Davis cameo. Now I do like Waiting in Davis pieces a lot. Hi Rhonda, how are you? Everybody's here tonight. I'm so glad to see everybody. Keep inviting people. It's how I'm gonna come join the party. Uh, this is the Whiting and Davis cameo. I had this one on the other day with a gray t-shirt. I also talked about it a little bit over the weekend and part of the reason why I like this one is that the etching crystal uh, makes it very easy to wear with whatever color you're gonna put it with. I have on a pattern today, it does pop a little bit easier against a solid color, but that doesn't mean that you can't wear it with anything and everything. 
I did talk about the other day about what I really like about it is the size and the scale makes it really easy to be able to wear dressed up or dressed down casually. Now this one is signed uh, Whiting and Davis. It has a little tag on the back of it. This one is also one that if you look in the back of Collecting Costume Jewelry 101, 202, 303 that this one is used as an example of weighing Davis's uh, Victorian revival style pieces in the 50s and the 60s era now some of you and I know More than one of you have some of the pieces that may go with this waiting in Davis piece It's been a long time and it's been quite a while since we've had one of the larger faceted crystal cameos um, but we have had the earrings. This one also though, if you have other Whiting and Davis pieces like the hematite pieces, um, the hematite silver, the hematite um, bracelets, the big cuffs. Uh, we've had some cameos with the cuffs. We've had some of the cameo earrings. Um, all of that will go with this kind of style with the Whiting and Davis ones. But this one's a nice one. It's a nice size and shape. I have on a V-neck today. I would typically wear it with a higher neckline with a scoop neck. Uh, but the crystal makes it go with everything. So it's another really super fun one. And I love the Whiting and Davis pieces. They never go out of style. Uh, the quality is always there. Uh, they look always great for their age and you can feel the material which is another thing that always I really gravitate with um, you know I really like when you can feel the difference between the way that the vintage jewelry pieces feel today uh, versus when you feel other types of jewelry unless you're walking in and you're buying fine jewelry or heavy sterling silver jewelry there's just so much more to the casting of the vintage pieces and of course, I'm a huge fan of the reverse style cameos. This one is an intaglio style, meaning that she's been carved on the inside with the crystal. And she has this really beautiful sort of lace-like frame. So yeah, so that is one of the great pieces that we have that is from Whiting in Davis. Uh, let's see, what else do we have next? Um, we have a really beautiful, so this one is, uh, this is the, Art Deco Diamante rhinestone brooch that we have. It's a pinwheel style and it has tiered and rivets. Uh, so you can see it's like a one, a two, and a three. And exactly, that's exactly what you'd see. You see one, two, and three. They're all layered together. And another one that's just tons of sparkle. Oh, the pinwheel brooch sold. Okay, well, everybody appreciate it. And for whoever it went off to, to a new home tonight, um, you know, we, this is another great one. This is a good one that if you can, uh, for those of you who have anything that has that Mandarin higher color, these types of brooches always look great there as well too. So that's another good one. All right, well, that was exciting. See, things move fast around here. And we also have got a great bow brooch. This is, uh, you know, I collect everything with bows. In fact, I really wish, oh, am I back now? I don't know, the internet is being a little bit goofy here today. It's been this way all day long. I also heard though that Facebook was being very glitchy because I tried to post something earlier today and then it told me that my post didn't go through, but then when I was looking on my phone later on, it said that it did. Yes, I love a good bow. If there's two things that Veronica loves, um, that are like personal things to me, I mean, I know there's a lot of things that I talk to you about, but I love things with bows and I love things with monograms. I love bows because they always make you feel like you are a present or you're giving a present or you're receiving a present. And I love all things with uh, monograms because I always love things with monograms because I like when things are very personal to people. So those are things that I collect in addition to all the other things I collect. I cannot resist a good bow. And I love things that have bows that are even beyond that. As you know, I've got sweaters with J. Crew with bows. I've got things from Kate Spade with bows. Um, I have that Wedgwood China of mine that has the little pink bows on the inside. I pull that out at Valentine's Day. And this is a really, really nice size one. And I like the way that this one also has a little bit of the texturing to it. Plus it has the little Diamante rhinestones that are in it. Now we can also show that we have a very sweet little tiny pair of bow earrings. Uh, we have got a sweet pair of bow earrings that have a little pink rhinestone in the center. And we are, these are a nice one because again, if you like something that is a little bit petite or a little bit preppy, 
these sweet little earrings feature the little bows on them and they're also a little clip and they have just a little perfect hint of pink and of course i like anything that has a little hint of a pink that also has a pink rhinestone so for example if you like being able to wear pink with the rhinestones with like the pink rhinestone and the pearl brooch this is another sweet one and then look at again so we've got the gold with the bow on this side and a little bit of the diamante rhinestones and on this side i have the pink rhinestones with the pearls and this is a nice piece too and then all of these again what i love to remind everybody is is that this is a t-shirt so we're not talking about any high or any super thick fabric these are lighter weight fabric so they're very easy to be able to wear in the spring and the summer that's the whole premise important part about vintage meat modern is how easy it is to be able to wear it with what real women wear and how easy it is to have it look being part of your modern style nothing we're wearing here even though these are vintage pieces is dated nothing is outdated nothing is so off trend all of these pieces are pieces that elevate your style these are all pieces that help distinguish your look these are all people pieces that help empower your personality set you apart from the rest and that's exactly what i want for each and every one of you and so again I like the way that both of these go with the little petite earrings and this is a perfect example of how easy it is to pull the whole look together without feeling so over the top we have the petite earrings which can go either with the gold brooch or can match up with the pink with the rhinestones uh, if you like something simpler you're just looking for a classic earring during the day and no brooch otherwise these are all great pieces to be able to mix and match with and build your little collection and your whole little story that's kind of the whole fun behind also between vintage meat modern is having all of the pretty little pieces that you can wear all together so i love these little sweet little bows bows are just some of my favorites now thank you to the lovely lady who was on here who did buy all the statement earrings that we had uh that also <laughs> went with the top that i had but those of you who i saw we had the mint and the green and then they had the mandarin orange and now we have the white pansies left uh which are also great but if you're looking for your statement earrings to sort of go with your pattern blouses like i have on today this is another perfect one this is a no Rainer and when you put these on you instantly feel like you are in that spring and summer garden party tropical flower party style feeling they are the right size they are the right shape they are lightweight and they are a neutral color with just a hint of sparkle so they will literally go with anything you have so whether you are wearing a sundress in bright beautiful colors or you're wearing a t-shirt and jeans or if you are wearing a cream or ivory silk shell and a pair of black straight pants with heels these are really beautiful earrings and they also are great size and shape to be able to wear with your hair up or your hair down so for those of you who are looking for a statement earring that is going to take you all summer long um that you know are different than any of the other little statement earrings that you see out here these are super pretty and very very easy to wear so i love statement earrings I feel like as soon as the weather changes and we start wearing our hair up more or even just keep it pulled back or even tuck it behind our ears, it is the perfect time to start pulling out your statement earrings for the spring and the summer season. And it only takes one to really help you feel like you've flipped a switch uh, in terms of having something to wear. And these are lightweight. So even if you are not used to wearing clip earrings, this is a great kind of quote, intro to clip earrings if you will and the more you wear clip earrings the less you notice them it's just like wearing heels you know you got to get used to wearing them and then you're fine after that there's no difference when you put them on okay now alicia was on here earlier and uh, yes well Rhonda thank you I never reveal who gets anything if you tell each other what you decided to add to your collection I appreciate it um but if you but I never reveal who who decides to add something to their collection um but I know so Alicia's on here and I'm glad that she's on here because she said that this collection was giving her um, the Bridgerton vibes and I, I don't disagree this is a beautiful necklace um, 
I, of course, like anything though that has that old Hollywood 1950s style and that's what I see when I feel this necklace. Um, besides the fact that I like the fact that it is a shorter neckline, so I feel like it definitely has that princess style. So by I am no Audrey Hepburn, but if we do think about the way that Audrey would always have her hair pulled back in like Roman Holiday, uh, I do see Megan's on here. She was saying that she watched the Audrey documentary too, which by the way, I can't remember again if it's an Amazon or Netflix. There is a really nice um, like biopic on Audrey Hepburn. It's I want to say it's only like 75 minutes long. It's really, really nicely done. Uh, there's a lot of references to her relationships uh, with Dior and Oscar de la Renta and many of the designers that she worked with through the year who kind of developed her look and then how they worked with costume departments and things. So it's really worth it if you enjoy the fashion aspect of things. Uh, but again, again, if you like just keeping things simple and sleek, this is a beautiful piece to fill the neckline. It feels very much just like a little princess collar. And upon closer look, if you take it, what's nice about this one is while it has the traditional Diamante rhinestones going around it, it also has a pear shaped, an emerald cut, and a round stone in between the little tiers. Uh, so it's a great piece to be able to have something a little bit different and interesting too. You know, when you look at it, you might see just a classic rhinestone necklace, but upon, yes. So Gail said she's seen it and it's on Netflix and that she loves Audrey. I thought it was a great great one too. Uh, I'm looking for a few other things right now and a few of you had also mentioned it. I had read it but it's a long book so I had been reading it through different sections but I also started listening, listening to the other side of the coin, um, the Angela Kelly book um, about dressing the queen. I started listening to that on Audible because they had it and now I'm following along with it on the book and I really, really love that one too. I enjoyed it when I was reading it but now I feel like I'm doing it at the same time uh, and I really, I'm enjoying it at the same time. I think I have that one. I also have the bracelet from either my mother or my grandmother. Oh, well that'd be awesome, Karen. If you do, show us the pictures because we love Love to see other pieces that people who have uh, inherited them from other people or if you have other pieces of the set that's half the fun so I'm excited to hear that so this is uh, the Diamante Art Deco style necklace and if you take a look at it in the back of it this one is a closed rhodium plating uh, so this one is another really super nice one another really easy one to wear and I'm sorry, my chair is really squeaky. I think we're gonna have to bring that to vintage. Well, I think I'll have to get some WD-40. <laughs> Actually, that's another thing that I haven't really been trying to practice is I've been really trying to work very hard uh, on my posture. So I have been, I don't have any of those alarms or anything like that that like alerts me when I'm spout, slouching or anything, but I'm certainly trying to be more mindful of it, so. Okay, up next, we have got another beautiful scarab bracelet. I saw that Anne is on here too. Anne, one of the very first pieces, if she doesn't mind me calling her out, uh, which I'll never forget it. It's her story to tell, so I won't tell it, but she bought a scarab bracelet for me, and I will never forget because she told me that she bought it for herself because it was something that someone else who she loved and cared about would have picked for her had he been there and it was one of the most impactful stories that anyone had ever told me about buying a piece of jewelry from Vintage Meat Modern and I still carry that dear with me today. Whenever you tell me things and you confide in things in me, I always hold those things close to my heart. So when you tell me about the jewelry that you love and the reason why you love it or who it reminds you of or why you have it in your collection, you can honestly know that I am holding that in my heart with you at the same time. Because while we talk about the fashion aspect and how awesome it is to wear all these pieces, there is a very powerful group of women that I know out there who wear these pieces for many people. It's like our own little armor, right? So we have another Scarab bracelet <laughs> and this one features a piece of rose quartz. Uh, it has a blue agate. Uh, it has a piece of agate also in the dark carnelian color and it has a piece of light jade and it has a piece of onyx and then it has some glass beads that have been put with it too. Uh, as you, also it has two chains on it. It has a secured spring ring to close it as well as it also has a safety chain on it. So. 
Um, Anne says that she has tears in her eyes, and you know what? Don't <laughs> y'all don't think that <laughs> I'll, I'll have them too if you if if we keep talking. I have no doubt that if I didn't, if I met any of you on the street, I'd give you all very, very now that COVID is, I'd give you all very, very long hugs. Um, and then I would admire all of your jewelry. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so now I'm going to talk about this Juliana bracelet and we're all going to be on here. Who's joining us going, I'm not crying. You're crying. You're not crying. I'm crying. Um, but it is. This is. I know that this is going to be a very emotional week for many of us. I know it is. And Mother's Day is always one of those times of year, so whether we have the best memories or memories of other things, or it's an easy or it's a difficult time. I know that this is a time of year where a lot of people feel a lot of range of things, so I'm very, very mindful of that. And I'm very grateful as I focus on trying to get the Juliana bracelet on me. Um, I'm very mindful of all of that. So I hope that we can celebrate what it means to be a mother figure. That's what I always remind people um, because it's a special thing that all women can possess whether they are maternal mothers or not. So um, remember, there's a lot of powerful mothers in the world, including Mother Earth. So, uh, so this is the Juliana Chasha bracelet and this, I just love right away. Um, yes. And Megan says she feels that she, yes, we would all hug and kiss each other. Um, so this one is the Juliana Chacha bracelet and this one's great for a couple different reasons. Uh, we're going to talk purely about the collector's point of view is that this is a five link Juliana a bracelet which is how it is identified uh, it has the cha-cha aurora borealis pieces that are on it and it has the classic diamante pieces on it too and this one's another really great piece uh, it is mainly because of the quality and because of the style and you can see there's tons of sparkle that go along with it and it does have a nice flat back that goes with it also you know, I just moved everything around in here. Also, like, it's 65 degrees out and I have a blanket on my lap. I'm just one of those people who's always cool. And this is the bracelet that goes with the... I am kind of wearing this suit a lot. This is the Mary Valente suit that I have in my own personal collection. I told a story a little bit about this not that long ago. So I bought this suit myself at an estate sale uh, from a company called Eccentric Estate Sales. They're an estate sale company that's in our area, ran by two women. They're awesome. I love them. Um, but this was one of the uh, suits that I was actually able to fit in. I know that I talk about being a larger chested girl, so it's very hard for me to find jackets and you know dresses and things like that that are vintage that are actually accommodating. Uh, but this is the couture jacket from Mary Malente. It's a 1950s jacket. I love it because I'm from Chicago and it actually has the Chicago logo in it. Uh, but this one, I was also showing that how pretty it looks with the Aurora Borealis jewelry. This is the Aurora Borealis Juliana Cha Cha brooch with a little bit of the waterfall detail. Um, and then this is the matching Aurora Borealis Juliana bracelet. They go together so lovely. And then there is a matching pair of kite earrings too that kind of brings this whole entire look. I know I see a lot of people talking about their moms. And I just want to let you know that I, you know, it is definitely a time of year where I pray for everyone. And also though, where there is sadness, there is joy too though. I always like to remind people of that also. There's sadness in those that we miss, but I do feel so blessed that I know so many people that have so many good memories. And those are the ones that I love that when you can take this time to share them. So, you know, remember that. And like I said, and I do, uh, many of you do know that I am a, I'm a prayer warrior in that department. And um, man, I feel like I'm sharing a lot tonight. I think it's the jewelry that's bringing out. And also somebody who I've worked with in this industry for a long time just told me that she's moving to Sedona, Arizona. And that is where my aunt had her home before she passed away. And, uh, you know, I feel like she's somebody who I always miss on Mother's Day too because she was like a second mom to me. So she always helped me out through a lot of hard things. 
uh, and she always inspired me to follow my dreams. So not that my own mother doesn't, but I think we all have those favorite aunts and those favorite special women in our life who are like mother figures. That's why I always like to remind people. So yeah. So yes, so we'll have each other. So we're gonna support each other and we're gonna celebrate those great memories with each other too. So um, <laughs> Rhonda says, my mom was my partner in crime. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> oh, we all got some great training. If you love jewelry as much as we do, there's either someone who was our partner in crime or there was someone who inspired us <laughs> to put on all of these beautiful pieces and be together. So. We have the cha-cha brooch, we've got the cha-cha bracelet, we've got the kite earrings, and they all go together and they all look really beautiful. And for those of you who are going to brunch or going to church or you are going out with your girlfriends, I these are all really, really great pieces to add to your collection. Uh, they're really fabulous, they're fantastic. Um, and of course, again, I am all about the movement is it just because I'm chasing after Sparky the Labradoodle and Michael all day? I don't know. The cha-cha pieces are always the ones that get me. I think it's just that added, um, the ADD sparkle as I put it, the, oh, there goes a sparkly thing. I think it's the added addition of the cha-cha pieces that are what really, that I love so much. And I, of course I love the Aurora Borealis. I always do. Okay. We had such a great talk about moms. Uh, we did, we all had such a great talk about moms. I'm really honored when everybody. Um, okay, Michelle says that she hit 12,000 steps. <laughs> well, if she, you have to do intermittent sprints on that treadmill, you better hold on, girl. <laughs> so we are all here cheering you on. Um, I, I walk, but I, my, I spin, so I don't, I don't bounce. I, I, my knees, I can't, I can't do the sprints anymore. I'm young and my knees are not, well, I mean, I'm not that young, but I can't, um, my knees just, I, I, I can't on the treadmill. So, all right. But now we're going to talk about this piece. So I've been talking a lot. So a lot of people always, sometimes people see these necklace and they think fall colors. Uh, this is the Vendome, the triple strand with the yellow and the orange in it, but that's why I wanted to put it on. I've been talking a lot about this color combination I love. I love the pinks and the orange and the mandarin together, all together. So these are a triple strand. It's a flat link and, you know, for those of you who like being able to put the pink and the corally colors together, this is a great one. It's another one that has that instant summer feeling. It has a citrusy feeling, very punch style. Uh, it fills the neckline and the flat link beads feel very, very pretty against the skin. So for those of you who like the visceral aspect of the way that the jewelry feels, the cool to the touch or the pearls, um, you like the way with the cha-cha pieces with the feeling and the movement, this is another great one that when you instantly put it on, you feel connected to it. It lays very nicely uh, and it's easy to wear. Another great piece that just goes with a variety of different colors. This isn't one that you just say, I'm only gonna wear in the fall and the winter season. This is one where you really embrace the bright, fiery orange Vendome color and that you can be able to wear it with lots of different colors. It looks really also pretty with shades of like sunflower, as I would put it, like a bright orangey yellow. It looks really great with the classic white. Uh, so, you know, don't just think of those black and orange scenarios from the fall. Think about the way that you can bring orange in to enjoy it with your spring and your summer looks too. It definitely does have that citrus punch style feeling. So think about mixing it with your orange, your limes, your magentas, your hot pinks, um, your classic whites, and even those bright greens. So another really super fun and a very easy one to wear. And again, I really like that it has the flat beads. I think it's comfortable and it feels great against the skin. and won't make you feel like it's sticky as they say. So as long as we're talking about things in terms of terms of how we put them on. All right, we have an awesome uh, saber style brooch. Okay, I was just saying, I was talking to somebody a little bit earlier today. I wanna give everybody, we all do need to say, and if you message me, I will tell you and I will give you her information. Claudia has taken more of a full-time job, so she is not taking as many pictures. Uh, so we are behind on our photos. Uh, we are welcoming a young uh, art student photographer intern. So be patient with her because she really is eager to get to know all of you and to learn her way around with the camera. Uh, if anybody wants to send Claudia a 
congratulations on your next adventure. Uh, I'm sure Claudia will be around. I'm sure once she gets her feet wet and things, she'll be back doing some pictures or things like that, or even popping in to say hi from some time. But she's been such a big part of taking pictures here at Vintage Meat Modern. And we do, we miss her terribly so um but we're also very happy for her and we're always cheering her on as well too uh but i have another young lady who is very interested she's excited she loves bright colors um and she's a recent high school graduate which is actually when claudia started taking pictures for me was right out of high school uh and she was asking about this brooch and i said oh i said well it's kind of cool i said it is pot metal uh, that was a very long story leading into this brooch, but this is a pot metal brooch that's been enameled and then also has some green rhinestones. Uh, it's an early pot metal brooch, but it's really great condition. So it's kind of cool. Uh, it has a pearlized and it has this really, really nice green rhinestones uh, around the handle. Uh, it's a nice one that fits up again up at the top of the corner and we have a lot of really pretty pieces that go with this one so we have got the green rhinestone earrings with the light and the dark green so that's a super fun pair really easy to be able to wear and pick up on the green colors there's a lot of pieces so for those of you who love green which i know that there's a lot of you that do there's the green earrings and the green rhinestones uh, if you like to layer and cluster brooches together, we also have a uh, star shape that you can see. You can pick up the same shades of green if you like layering things together on a jean jacket or maybe some form of a jumper. These all go great together. Uh, we also, it goes very nice. So this is different kinds of shades. This is the emerald green. This has got the clamper bracelet with the domed style on it. So for those of you who love green rhinestones, these are also very pretty. And then I also wanted to point out that this bracelet is on sale. Um, this bracelet is another one of those mesh bracelets and this one features the green rhinestones in it and you can see, so you can really build like your own little style story by kind of putting all of the green rhinestone pieces together. But I really do think that for those of you who like being able to add pieces to your collection that match certain kinds of brooches and colors, these are spot on, you know, as they would say, this is a happy marriage in the rhinestone world. This shade of green and this sort of design with this larger scale brooch looks just absolutely fabulous together. Then I have that Anne Klein consignment coat. I mean, I say that it's my Anne Klein coat and it's my magic coat because it's green and it fits everyone. Um, True story, I wore it to a business conference once and everybody was cold at night and somebody who was a size two borrowed it from me and then somebody who was like larger who would wear like an extra large wore it and everybody fit in it. So we call it the magic coat for that reason. It's also a shade of green that looks very flattering on anyone. And I wore this brooch set on that green coat and got compliments. So it's a perfect example of how you can pull up on the monochromatic color scheme by wearing green on green. Uh, and these are just really lovely together. This would be a beautiful set and be a wonderful statement piece to add to your collection in which you receive all kinds of compliments on it. Definitely a piece that's super fun. And I mean, and it's very reasonably priced too. So it's a super, it's like a no brainer piece as I would put. What else do I have here tonight? It's been such a long time since I've seen all of you because like I said, April was, April was intense visiting all those colleges and having to make a decision under the constrictions with COVID. And my daughter did choose to go to Loyola but we literally had decided that she was going to go with Loyola, and then out of the blue, Marquette contacted her and gave her a very large grant. So after we had taken Marquette off the table, we had hightailed it back up to decide if maybe Marquette was the answer, but ultimately she decided to go with Loyola. And for those of you who are big U of I fans, she also did get into U of I, but she just decided that she wanted to go to a smaller school, so. But we had our top 10% dinner last week. Um, they do get to have some form of a prom next week. She's going to prom. So I'm just kind of soaking in the, the last of the senior activities with my daughter under the COVID time. We had senior night. They got to have their last palms thing, which was crazy because it was raining and it was a Monday night. It was supposed to be a Friday night game. But the week before, that football team had to quarantine. So they had to have the game on a Monday. Um, but we just had lots of different things. But... 
of all the things that I wore when we went on a, a lot of college visits, I wore this necklace. And I love this one because it fills the neckline so nicely. And in addition to filling the neckline so nicely, it's very lightweight. So you put it on and you forget that you even have it on. So this is that brass gilt filigree necklace that has the charms that are on it. There is also a matching bracelet. By the way, I see we have a lot of new people joining us. I'm chatting with a lot of the ladies who are on here, but please join the conversation. We love talking about jewelry and accessories and vintage and memories and empowering women with everyone. So that conversation is, you know, I would have been intimidated joining a conversation like this too, but after doing this for four years online, I can just tell you it is a very special place to be and we welcome everyone. Uh, and so lots of gorgeous pieces. Like I said, this one is the brass filigree bracelet. It has the little charms that are dangling on it. And then this is the matching necklace. So another great piece, super easy to be able to just put on and you can wear it with a white t-shirt and a white blouse like I did, or you can completely dress it up. There is even a picture of me wearing it with the Mary Valenti jacket, the vintage silk Dupiani jacket in the blue and you can see so for those of you who pink is not your jam and you like something that's more in those pastel colors this literally goes with everything so it's a really really beautiful piece wow so we have talked about a lot of jewelry we have a lot of really fabulous pieces and may is just full of all kinds of as i like to put it um, mementos and so May is all about memories and mementos and moments and all of the things that we're gonna celebrate together this month uh, and so I'm gonna show you kind of an overview as I reorganize things if you were here behind the scenes you'd see that there's jewelry spread out all over my desk and all over my table um, because we've just had so much fun talking about it right now while we're talking is if there are any particular questions about any specific pieces, please don't hesitate to ask. Leanne is here. Everybody give Leanne a big round of applause. Um, you know, I would love having, having her help keep the party organized. She's like the cruise ship director uh, for Vintage Meat Modern while we're doing our Facebook Live at the same time. Um, and I'm glad that we were able to be with each other. Um, you know, so, and I will be here next week. The week after I will not because my daughter received an invitation to the awards night, which I say that in air quotes because it's not really an air quotes, but you have to be invited to awards night because awards night means that you want a scholarship. They just won't tell you. Um, <laughs> you just won't, they just won't tell you what award you want. So that is a big one that mom is going to be looking forward to is the one where we get to go for a scholarship night. <laughs> so, and I've heard so many of you have been here. You've been part of such a the vintage meat modern journey. I've heard so many of you tell me that I have a daughter in college or I'm going to be visiting someone this weekend or I'm moving my daughter back out of school and stuff. So I'm there. I'm there with you. But for those of you who also know, I'm also there with you on the ball field. Mr. Michael is our slugger this season and he is just as he puts it, hitting it out of the park. He is a just, he's on fire this season. So he is playing for the Detroit Tigers in Lockport. Um, so he's on the Tigers, he's doing a great job. He's having an awesome little league season. And my other daughter is busy playing lacrosse and finishing dance and finishing her freshman year. Uh, so we have been very, very busy. I've been loving wearing jewelry at home and even on the couch. Just do it. I say it all the time. Just do it. Do it too. Michael said today, uh, Alicia says she wants to see the Art Deco necklace that she wants to buy. I will be right back. I, I know it's here because I had everything that was out on the table. And I think I, did I put that one back in a different tray? Or did I put that one on top of the pink box? Or did I put that one on top of the, oh my goodness, oh, oh here it is, okay, I did. I put it back at the top of the other. Those are all necklaces in that cabinet. Those are all earrings in that cabinet. Although I should say the bottom drawer's got rings. 
those are all brooches at the top and those are all bracelets down there. So that is the organizing system. And so I was actually impressed with myself how quickly I wandered over to the necklace drawer and was able to find it. So there you go. There she is. She is beautiful, isn't she? So this is the other Art Deco. This is the other princess style necklace that we have. And like I said, this one, uh, this one comes to a V. So this one elongates the neck and it gives you a very swan, grace-like feeling. Uh, and then this one fits more like a collar. So it depends more what you're looking for. This one has more of a collar aspect to it because it has a little bit of the swoops. And this one goes more towards a V. It's all about personal taste and preference. This one also is a little bit wider and this one, um, so there, yeah. So we got all kinds of beautiful pieces. Uh, it shall be yours. The perfect piece always goes to the perfect person, just like I say. So yeah, so we've got all kinds of gorgeous pieces. We've got rhinestones and crawlers and just, oh, just all kinds of goodies. So, so now I hope you all will head on over to Vintage Meet Modern and take a closer look at your favorites. If you have any questions about any of the pieces that you do have your eyes on, let me know. We can try to help you out and get you an answer as fast as possible. Uh, yes, Michelle says you need to wear it for a manager Monday. Yeah, that would be fantastic. We'd love to see you wear it for a manager Monday. And Michelle must have, she must be done with her sprints. <laughs> So, um, and we're really glad that you hit way more than 12,000 steps. That's awesome. So maybe we'll do a step challenge at some point or some sort of challenge related to that. Uh, so we've got all kinds of gorgeous, beautiful pieces. Uh, everything that you see here is authentic vintage. We work very hard at sourcing all of these beautiful treasures for you. And I'm just excited that we can continue to get together and talk about how we're wearing them and what we want to wear them with. And then also, again, you know, if you are stumped, uh, with an outfit or you're feeling like you need something to really kind of brighten up your style now is the time to do it We've got all kinds of pretty pieces and all kinds of colors And I always like to remind people that that is one of the best parts about the vintage jewelry is the colors uh, It's so easy to be able to pick something that's colorful uh, Because you just don't see those kinds of colors when you go and you're shopping in other places And I think that that's why I'm always just naturally attracted to them is that one all the different kinds of sparkle and then to all those really beautiful colors and there was in the vintage rhinestone discussion group how that the dakota blue rhinestone from swarovski is very different than the dakota blue color that they make now and how that it's so much more vibrant and so much more of a truer blue so it just goes to show you so Yes, so Deborah said, thank you for the party. It perked me up today. It perked me up too. I was glad that I was able to get everything fit in today. Uh, it was a very busy day, but of course, I really didn't want to miss. I really didn't want to miss being with all of you the way that we were back in April, but duty called and many times Wednesday was the only day that my daughter didn't have commitments related to work and or schooling and or activities based on the e-learning schedule. So it seemed like we were fitting in a lot of our college visits or fitting in a lot of our college related things on Wednesday nights. I'm not crying, you're crying, <laughs> right? That's, that's how I feel right now. So that's it. So everyone head on over to Vintage Meet Modern, pick your favorite please, uh, and please tell a friend, let everybody know about all these beautiful sparkly treasures we have, and then also tell them to join the party. We love getting together and hang out with all of you every week. It really truly is so much fun. So everyone have a fabulous night. I'm gonna go find out what the Cubs are doing and, um, for Mr. Michael, not for me, um, but, but it's something that I can talk about at breakfast with him. Uh, and then I'm gonna go lay out what I'm gonna wear tomorrow and I'm gonna think about all the fabulous jewelry that I can put with it. So everybody have a good night and we will see you all again real soon. Bye.